I've been going through, through some sinking mud here. This area looks like it's going to get deeper. Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It definitely gets deeper over here. It's not looking good. So for safety purposes, I'm using my waders right now. I'm not going to cross over here. It's deep on both sides, man. I can see from here. So, yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's start heading back. We're going to head back to our initial position and start exploring upstream. Uh, folks, I know that I say this in all of my videos when I'm waiting out there. And you may be tired of listening to EPF talk about the stuff, but it is necessary. It is important, especially because on this YouTube channel, there are so many kids watching all the time, right? Young people. So I would like to emphasize, all right? Waiting is a lot of fun. You buy yourself a pair of waders, you go to your local creeks, right? Or even your local rivers, ponds, and you can walk to spots that people don't usually have access to where fishing pressure is very low, you are able to catch more fish, both in numbers and in diversity. It is a blast and I recommend. But if you are going to go out there and you are going to do it, always safety first. Please, I just ask of you, you know, if you are going to do it around your local bodies of water, doesn't matter if you are a kid, an adult, how old you are, just make sure you value your own safety. And this is just my advice for you, right? If you are waiting with or without a pair of polarized glasses, you should be able to see the bottom of the place where you are waiting, okay? If you're waiting and you can't see the bottom, don't go there. Number two, you always got to look out for the topography of the area. Not just how deep the area is, but you got to see if there's mud around the area. Usually you're going to hit some sinking mud and that is extremely dangerous when you have waders on all right so always a small steps in places where you are not familiar with one step at a time it is better to be safe than sorry that is spot back there downstream it was getting very very sketchy uh, you know that you have hit hit sinking sinking mud when you step and bubbles start to come up right and you get stuck this is what was happening down there so like i mentioned i just not gonna go that way anymore it gets super deep i don't want to get injured i don't want to get stuck i don't want to die right so i'm going to start heading upstream to our initial position we are currently at six species of fish in this video it is going well and hopefully we're going to catch a few more along the way i mean hopefully we're going to catch a new species 201 in this video right this is what i'm hoping for so stay tuned Whew, and let's go fishing that's a good cast fish on fish on what we got here oh it's a bluegill wow inhaled the bay too let's see if we can do some uh surgery here oh yes oh oh Yes, there we go, huh? Little Lepomis Macrocurus. All right, not bad, not bad. We're making our trip back to the initial spot. <laughs> that fish hit, man, like it really wanted this worm. Oh, usually trunks like this have something under it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a red breast. I was expecting more like a green sunfish or a rock bass, you know? But okay, I'll take it. Little, little red breast sunfish right here. Oh man, you greedy little sunfish. Usually it is the green sunfish and the rock bass who stay under the structure. Fish on. Oh, oh, sun. What is this? Is it another species for today? Is it a smallie? I think it's a smallie. This is my first ever smallmouth bass that I have caught from this place, if it is a smallie. And the species number seven for today. Yeah, look at this, this is a smallmouth bass. Ooh, interesting. So this place also got smallies. Wow, this is a beauty. A small one, I mean, nevertheless, 
but it is a species that I have never caught here before. Not bad, folks, not bad, not bad at all. Our seventh species of the day, a little smallmouth bass, eh? The Micropterus dolomiel. Whoa, son, it was full of energy. Yeah, that's the best. Pipe fishing. Thanks, son. Oh, look at the size of this bluegill. Holy moly, dude. It's right on. It's right at the pipe. Ready to feed. Holy cow. Let me tell you, folks, the light over here is not really good. I understand and I apologize. But there's a juicy pipe over here releasing water and all the fish including that big bluegill <laughs> they are all around here you know trying to get a meal so <laughs> there's a bunch of fish stacked up right over here pipes man always your best friends whoa another species for today oh yeah Species number eight, I believe, we got a rock bass. Very, very tiny one, but this is the Umbloplitis hupestris, right by the pipe. Now, this is pretty cool, my friends. As I told you guys, I am going from downstream to upstream in this creek right now. And I just hit this little juicy spot right over here where there's a pipe that pumps water over here. And once in a while, you can see the fish surfacing, you know, trying to eat all the stuff, right? That this pipe is pumping here. I don't know what type of things or food this pipe is releasing over here. But this is the spot where I caught the jumbo bluegill that you guys saw. And I just got a rock bass, the Umbloplitis hupestris, from this place. This is my first one ever from this creek. Now, I understand that the light is not really good over here, but I really, really wanted to show you guys, just show you guys how beautiful a rock bass can be. Look at this. This is a rock bass under the water, the Umbloplitis hupestris. Eh, I know, I'm gonna get a new fish tank soon enough, you know, but check that out, huh? Man, this is a beautiful, beautiful fish, all right? Red eyes, it's got all the markings here on its body, right? You guys can see, this is truly a gorgeous fish. Eighth species of today. So, I mean, even though we didn't catch anything new, today is still turning out to be a super, super productive day. Look at that, outside of the water, okay? Look at the collars on this fella. We gotta release it. I'm just gonna put it right over here. Yeah, oh! And it is gone. Eight different species of fish. And we still got to continue fishing, you know? Let's see what happens. This hike is definitely a hike, folks. I hate rocky bottom when waiting. And I just waited all this area right here, which is all rocky. Hopefully, we're going somewhere where it's going to be productive, yeah? Oh, what is that? Is that a rock bass? I think that's a rock bass. All right, so there are some rock bass around the area. Came and ate the trout magnet. I just switched from the night crawler to a little jig and a, you know, trout magnet because this area is very, very, you know, the current is very, very strong. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to throw a jig instead of just free falling, get a little bit more depth. Oh, that's different. This is definitely different. What is that? Oh, a little small. No, wait, what? It's just a rock bass, man. I'm not a rock bass. I thought it was a little small at the beginning. <laughs> the beginning felt, it felt so odd, you know? Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful fish. Oh, what is this? This is different. This is definitely different. 
Yeah, what the? What is that? Whoa, what the heck is that? This is definitely different. There's a trout, isn't it? I think there's a brook trout, dude. Oh, yeah. The power. It's got to be a brook trout. Yes, yeah, son. Oh, yeah, it's a brookie. It is a brookie. Man, eat that trout magnet. Inhale that trout magnet. Look at that brook trout, dude. Beautiful brook trout right here. Brookie. I already got a photo of a brookie today, so let's just unhook this guy. Man, he inhaled that trout magnet, though. What the heck? Why, why you do this kind of stuff to me, huh, brookie? There we go. All right, it's out. Wow, that's a, that's a beautiful fish, man. All right, ready? Woo! Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, another one. You got to be kidding. There's a school of them right over here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, man, when they school up, as people say, they schooled up. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, beautiful little brook trout right here. Oh, son, I'm having a blast out here. Haven't caught any new species yet, but let me tell you, these brook trout, they are very, very beautiful. Look how gorgeous these brook trout are you know this is this is super super beautiful right here the other one was more beautiful than this one i like the ones with the red dots and the little blue hue you know but hey man regardless you know oh son oh fish on oh it's another brookie dang dude full of energy no what is that no way that's a white sucker no dude that's a fall fish holy moly dude this is a big fall fish for this area let me tell you the fall fish over here they don't tend to get very big folks you know so this fall fish right here that's already like a jumbo jumbo size for my area okay this ain't no tingalati upper new york where you can catch some 18 inches fall fish so this one right here wow this is this is whoa this for my area this this size Fall fish for my area is like a real, real nice fall fish. Oh, son, splashing me over, dude. This is a nice size fall fish. Look at this. Holy cow, dude. This is definitely a fall fish, all right? Super, super powerful. Sup oh, look at that. It's trying to, man, this is a very, very powerful fall fish in spawning, in spawning mode, okay? Holy cow, man. Wow, got to take a shot at this one. You know what? It is very risky for me to take a shot right here because I don't want to get my camera and my phone wet. So I just decided to let this guy go, you know? No, no shot, all right? It's a beautiful fish. We just got to unhook it and release it right over here. But I am astonished, folks. I am truly, truly astonished by this fall fish right here. This size for my area is really, really uncommon, okay? Really, really uncommon. I gotta wait until this fish is swims away on its own. Fall fish, as I emphasized at the beginning of this video, they are very, very sensitive. A very, very sensitive species of fish, you know. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, it's good to go. Oh yeah, that one went away strong. Wow, that was definitely the catch of the day for me, you know. All the fish that I have caught in this creek today, to see a fall fish being able to grow around my area to that size, you know, in a little creek, that's amazing. I have heard that the upper Delaware, you can catch that up to 18, 20, 22 inches. But here in the little creeks, you don't see that kind of size, you know. That one over there is pretty nice already. It's pretty nice already. Fish on. What is that now? Dude, 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 this place is full of surprises. What is that now? This is the this is the hot hole of the day, dude, for sure. Wow, that's a jumbo bluegill, man. And against the current, this dude is fighting way too good. Holy mo holy moly, man. I found the hole. I found the hole, my friends. Look at this jumbo sized bluegill. Oh, oh, oh man two brook trout a big fall fish for my area 
and a jumbo bluegill like this from this little hole. Look, dude, this is the size of my hand. Look at this. This is the size of my hand. You guys see this? This is a nice bluegill, real, real nice chunky bluegill for my area, okay? Holy moly. Oh yeah, red breast. Everything coming out of this hole is big. No kidding, man. This is what I call a hot hole. We found the hottest hole in the whole creek today, right over here by this overhanging tree, man. Everything you catch out of this hole is a decent size, you know, for my area. Woo this is good stuff, man. I love myself a hot hole. Oh, feels like a good fish. That's another trout. It's another trout. Oh, this is a beautiful one, man. Beautiful one. Let me tell you, when you find a hole like this, you know, a hot hole like this, you just got to make sure you suck it dry. You know what I'm saying? Whole day fishing the creek, man. This is my six. This is my trout number six from this spot. Look how beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how beautiful this trout is. Holy moly, guys. This is no joke, no joke. For a stocked brookie, this is this is the most beautiful one of the day. Wow, super feisty. Is this really stocked? No way this place has got native brookies, right? I mean, I don't know. This for a stocked trout, this is way too beautiful. It's weird. Oh, I don't know, guys. This is very, very beautiful for a stocked trout. You know what I'm saying? Let me take a shot of it and we're gonna release it. But this this looks so much like a native, but it's probably stocked, yeah. Guys, let me tell you something. I mean, I'm ready to call it a day, all right? But the brook trout that you guys saw in this video, the last brook trout when I went to release it, the battery on the GoPro died. So, you know, I was waiting right over there. There was nowhere for me to go to put my stuff down and change the battery, right? So, I mean, when you find a hole like that, you know, so hot that you don't want to leave, you, you just keep fishing. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm mind blown, folks. You guys have no idea. Like, I didn't show you guys the whole footage but I pulled about 15 brook trout, the Salvelinus Fontinalis, from that one little single hole. And I pulled three fall fish, the Semotilus corporalis, nice fall fish for this little creek, always spawning, you know, around that area too. And I pulled some nice red breast sunfish from that area too. So, I mean, I gotta tell you people, this year I've been fishing, this is my 60, 65 outing of this year. That has got to be one of the hottest holes that I found this year, you know. And I am so glad that I came out here today and I explored, you know. Like I told you guys in the beginning of this video, I've only fished this place two times before. I had no idea that, you know, I mean, at this time of the year, uh, they probably haven't done any stockings here for about a month or so. There are these many trout in the little creek. It's fascinating. But, <laughs> but anyways, right? I am ready to call it a day. I've been fishing here for quite a while. So we're finishing the day with what? Eight different species of fish. We got the bluegill, the Lepomis macrocutus, the red breast sunfish, Lepomis auritus, Rock bass, Amblopletes hupestris, smallmouth bass, Micropterus dolomiel, fallfish, Semotilus corporalis, uh, brook trout, Salvelinus fontinalis, and then it's down to the micros, right? Let's see, we got, I believe we got a spot fin shiner. Yeah, we got a spot fin shiner, Cyprinella spiloptera. I believe that's the one. I'm not sure if it is the Espiloptera or Analostrana, but it's one of those two. Then we caught some Swallowtail Shiner, the Notropis Procne, and finally we got a little Mystery Shiner that, you know, 
I'll figure it out once I get home, right? Once again, no new species of fish. It's still a 200, but I tell you what, a day like this, man, where you catch some micro fish, you catch some game fish, and you see some of the most beautiful brook trout around my area, which by the way, is this fish for the state of Pennsylvania, you can't beat that, folks. You can't beat that. So, you know, this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy. I go out there, I fish for whatever bites, you know, I'm always searching for new stuff, going to new places, and sometimes you struck gold, you know? I mean, how beautiful were those trout, right? And the fall fish and everything else in this video. So I recommend you to do the same around your bodies of water. If you have never done it before, you know, broaden your horizons, people. We only live once, right? Carpe diem. Go explore. Go catch a new species. Do something and you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> the element of surprise in our sport of fishing fascinates me. It gets me excited and sometimes it even gets me perplexed. But all right, this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Oh man, that hole was so hot. I didn't want to put my stuff out. All right, I said it. I just needed to say that. All right, all right guys, tie lines. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy and make sure you catch a lot of fish. It's, it's so short though. Why is this worm so short? For real, man? Is this worm on diet, <laughs> on diet or something? Well, regardless, nevertheless, we need it, right? So, oh, there's another one right here. Oh yeah, oh no, it's going. Come out here. No, <laughs> dang son. Where did that worm go? Oh, what the heck is this? Yo, we just found some type of weird larvae over here.